baby the frog, but the frog got forked. If you wanna make bacon, then you gotta buy pork. Pet baby the frog, but the frog got forked. If you wanna make bacon, then you gotta buy pork. Pet baby the frog, but the frog got forked. If you wanna make bacon, then you gotta buy pork. Pet baby the frog, but the frog got forked. If you wanna make bacon, then you gotta buy pork. This Dex was created by Polly, better known as PollyOX on X. Polly has been in the space for a while now, and I remember when I first saw Polly was when he was partnered with Ryder Rips on the RRBAYC NFT, and that was the Ryder Rips Board Ape Yacht Club. They had a whole case against the Board Ape Yacht Club about the rights of the NFT, and that's still ongoing. Since then, Polly has been in the space helping people, and he was a big player in the Pepe coin. Polly was helping to promote. Pepe to bring it up from its low valuation all the way up to above a billion dollar market cap. He also helped list Pepe on these exchanges of Binance and Gemini. But one thing Polly never liked was the Pepe team, the team of developers that created the coin and pushed it out. Polly came out saying that the Pepe team didn't reward the people who helped them get there. They didn't help Polly for helping them list the coin on exchanges, and they didn't give any credit or reward to the original creator of Pepe who was Matt Fury. After seeing all this, Polly decided that he's gonna make his own project, and that's when he started Pondo X. We're gonna discuss the advancements in PNDC and exactly what's been going on with the project. Now, I want to start this down by breaking down the multiple aspects of the Pondo X ecosystem. I want to start with mining. Very similar to Bitcoin, Mining Pond is creating new supply and mining brand new PNDC. So the creator of Pond, Polio X, opened a mining session. So basically, you would mine the PNDC and once a certain amount of PNDC is mined the spawning is opened and you were able to spawn your PNDC for Pepe on the website itself you can see a vial filling up and when it reaches a hundred percent of mining then spawning will open for 69 minutes and during this spawning period it's best to be fast so you can claim your Pepe quickly because the Pepe runs out as everyone's trying to claim and on average people saw a return of a 2x all the way up to a 10x when they spawn their PNDC for Pepe. But of course, mining more PNDC means creating more supply, so that caused the price of PNDC to plummet. On the first day of mining, PNDC dropped about 60%. A lot of people were able to up their bag size of PNDC. And in the first round of spawning, the PNDC you originally had, plus the mine PNDC, counted towards the spawning Pepe. Let's start off with the new coin that was created. That was the Pepe Fork, also known as Pork. This coin was dropped by the PNDC PNDC team and Polly released it out on his ex. He hinted that he was working on something and he dropped the contract address as a tweet. And before this was even dropped, Polly was talking about the devs on the Pepe coin team. I'm not here to share my opinion or my views on it, but the fact is that the devs of the Pepe team were taking money from the project. And a lot of the devs left and don't hold any more coins, but there are still some that are there. And Polly does not like these devs at all, so he decided to create a brand new coin a pepe fork and that's what you see in pork now pork is going to be implemented into the pndc ecosystem and pepe is officially out of the ecosystem so now we're replacing the spawning of pepe with the breeding of pork so if you look at the flywheel of the whole ecosystem you can see that you mine pndc and you breed it for pork and after that you can sell your pork back into pndc and lock it up or just take the profits and another thing that came up while we were waiting for mining was a new boost. A boost is used in the mining process which gives you a better conversion rate from your ERC20 token to the PNDC token. And currently we only know that we can use Ethereum to mine the PNDC but there has been speculation of other tokens like Pepe. So normally when you're mining on just a regular mine without any boost you're gonna get about a 2x return. So that means if you're mining a hundred dollars worth of Ethereum you may get two hundred dollars worth of PNDC. But let's just say you have a boost and if you throw that in there your hundred dollars may be worth something like four hundred or five hundred dollars worth of pndc and there may be an option to load multiple boosts so far we've gotten many boosts and we just got another one the most recent boost was the pork boost and the basic criteria for this claim is that you held pepe in your wallet and you interacted with the pondo x decks so if you hit both of these criteria then you should expect a port claim soon and that's a lot of money coming back to the users and 
that's all what crypto 2.0 is about rewarding the users that use the platform now outside of the pork rewards we also have dex rewards which is a separate reward category so the criteria for the dex rewards is simply just swapping on their decentralized exchange and that could be any swap from one coin to another and there have been periods where there were rewards on the swaps for example we had a 5x on all tokens that means you get 5x the rewards for each token swap but of course this is not open all the time there's a set period time limit for when you get these rewards so as long as you have been in the ecosystem and swapping during these rewards or even outside of these rewards you will get your dex rewards when they come out and the famous slogan they have is more swaps equals more drops and if you're confused and you have no idea what you're doing then you can reach out to me and I can get you set up in my coaching program I can walk you through step by step and keep you updated on everything going on in this ecosystem because I am tapped in and we can break it down as simple or as advanced as you want to get and I'm dropping videos like this all the time so if you want to stay up to date with everything pond then please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that bell button so you don't miss another one of my videos I seen them coping on the timeline think they need to put their phones down and get their mind right all that fault ain't got them fatal need a lifeline we was watching charts from the morning to the night time number go up number go up only